Hundreds of fine folks of the internet. Hell yeah. So, I'm just getting ready for work. Rolling the first one that I'm going to smoke out of. Probably about 15 or 20 more today. <clears throat> now, I don't know if, um, if any of you guys caught the music video I was in with my boss ass bitch friend, um, my homie. Uh, Nikki, you might, let's see, for reference, know her as Grace from Degrassi, not that that character is anyway representative of who she is as a human being. In fact, I actually had not seen her play that character because I never given a fuck about Degrassi until after when someone asked me, oh, who did she play? And I didn't know the name. Um, and I watched about two minutes of her, and I was like, yeah, that's... That looks like her, but it's just, it's not, not her, no, no, this is weird, I can't watch this. <laughs> but, um, I, uh, I'm pretty sure I did, like, drop the music video we did last time, um, in one of the, the description for one of my videos, but, um, I'm not entirely certain if I did, um, until I have absolutely impeccable long-term memory. Um, but, uh, in any case, uh, what you probably have seen is my thumbnail, which is uh, a photo we did post-shoot. Um, that's, that's pretty much the whole crew just sort of chilling. And, uh, me trying to look like a semi-retarded cadaver. And I think I managed to pull that off. Um, Tall order, right? But, um, I mean, in any case... Uh, she just invited me to be in another one, so I am very excited about that, and this is for her project, Donna G, D-O-N-N-A, G, like, G. Um, and you can find her channel, uh, I'll, I'll drop a, a link down in the description, and also for the music video we did last time for Aqua Tifana, which is great, because you get to see me being a like, ultra-misogynistic, uh, possessive husband from the Elizabethan age, uh, who gets gradually poisoned to death. And you get to watch me just hemorrhage blood, and, um, yeah, uh, like, I was, I was seizing and spasming as I was spitting this blood out of my mouth, and, like, they got so like concerned like legitimately concerned they thought i was choking on it um but uh yeah no it was, it was good fun and it was like a really professional video shoot like you know i i showed my my boss and like i kept telling my boss and work that um like uh that you know I, i've been in that video for a while but you know he's he never ended up watching until i showed it to them when we were partying once and you know, he's into, he's into rap and shit like that, and after, they were just speechless, he was like, holy crap, man, like, you know, I was expecting some, like, cheap, just YouTube-style, kids fucking around sort of video, but that was, like, legitimately professional. Um, and, you know, I think a lot of people have, have given me a similar sort of reaction, and, I mean, I don't blame them. Like, you know, I didn't music video with her um, called Silk Sides, uh, which you can also find on her channel. Um, I'm like barely in it. Uh, I was only in it as a last minute sort of thing. Um, but, you know, that very much I think was... I think the, the song's fine. It's not it's more fine, it's fire, but um, and, like the quality kind of is, yeah, you know, kids fucking around on YouTube sort of thing. Whereas this video is like like, you know, I, almost like a eyes wide shut kind of Kubrick level feel. Not not saying that it's like fucking Stanley Kubrick, but it, it gave me those kind of vibes anyway. Um, and so, yes, um, she has uh, called upon me. Kevin! Kevin! I'm be in the music video and be dressed as a woman. So, you guys will get to see me unleash 
dirty hell. So it's going to be my dry clean persona. This is a persona I sort of came up with one night when I was high on ketamine and I believe 4-H-O-M-I-P-T. Um, and uh, trying to explore in my mind uh, what would, or, yeah, I mean, yeah, explore in my mind what uh, means of sort of channeling parts of my identity, particularly, you know, feminine, masculine traits, stuff like that, um, would help to lend itself to, uh, yeah, uh, an expansion of my my own understanding of what, what goes on within me. And uh, I realized that I've always uh, loved drag queens, I thought. Uh, you know, they've always been able to walk a really neat line between vulgar and classy and do it in a way that's like really witty and hilarious, so, you know, I've, I've, I've got mad respect there, and, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just always interested in, um, just getting in touch with various, you know, dualistic sides of the self, and so I think this would be a great way to do that, and, um, yeah, uh, this would also be the first premiere of that character, um, on camera. So, uh, yeah, um, stay tuned for that, um, and, uh, the, how I came up with the name Jazzy Hell is, um, play on Jezebel in the Bible, um, Jezebel, uh, to a lot of Christians, is, uh, you know, kind of emblematic of a, of a succubus, so, um, a sort of, uh, a demon that uses sex and lust and uh, vanity to get people to do her bidding or whatever. And the story is brutal as all hell. Um, like this guy Jay Jehu, I think his name is. Um, he uh, he gets anointed by this leper who says, Son, you are now a one-man army army for God, pretty much. And this guy, just high on that divine righteousness, he storms into the gates of this castle, this kingdom, whatever, and um, just starts killing people left and right. And uh, one of the people he kills is Jezebel, who I believe she was like, um, I believe she was like an Egyptian queen or something, who had married this this king that Jehu hated, and um, she comes out after this extended scene of her putting up on makeup, because um, they just, I guess they just had to stress how much of a person she was to just use a superficial charm to get what she wants, and um, yes, yeah, so she comes out and trying to check out the anarchy that's ensuing, and yeah, somehow she gets knocked off her porch, and Jehu just runs over her with his heart. Yeah. Nice story, right? And then demons... Oh, wait, no, I think Jehu says, uh... Like, like I think he stomps her head, and, and then he's like, bury your body, because she's still royalty. She deserves a burial, and like, yeah, you're, you're a nice fellow, aren't you, buddy? <laughs> and, um, yeah, so, uh, then, then these street dogs come and eat her body, and then, you know, Christians will dispute that fact and say that it was more so demons who took her body to hell, and yada, yada, yada. So, in any case, I mean, that, that sort of the inspiration, you know, Jezebel, Jazzy, Hell, um, and then, you know, the implications of that character and Christian theology, um, I just thought it would it'd be an interesting play on that name and that sort of archetype. Um, but yeah, uh, stay tuned, because it'll be interesting. Um, 
shoot's not going to be for a little while. Um, I really, um, as far as on details, I don't know much, but I think uh, I think that's what she wants. She doesn't want me blabbing to the the world about um, what 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 details are in the project. So yeah, um, we'll have to see. Have to see what happens. But in the meantime, I will uh, I'll drop the links uh, both to our last video off with Fauna and her channel and page. Yeah, thanks for watching. Should like, comment, subscribe. Give me a little pat on the back. Keep me going. And uh, show her some support, too. That'd make her very happy. Make sure that you said you came from over here. Check out over there. Yeah. Yeah. Have a right day, folks.